Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I want to run you through this gorgeous thank you note. It's a little bit artsy. It features Dragonfly Dreams Bundle from the Occasions Catalog. Bundle discounts in the Occasions Catalog are going away. And I just really wanted to feature this gorgeous bundle. Okay. This is card number two in a series of two. If you missed the blog post from April 12th, check it out because this is card number one in the series, both featuring the Dragonfly Dreams bundle. I'm also featuring a bunch of retiring Stampin' Up! products because just this week, Stampin' Up! announced its retiring list. So there's lots of product on this card. Don't worry though, there's going to be a supply list, printable, freebie on my blog. You can check the link below in the detailed description um, and, and get these uh, supply list photograph measurements, all printable and downloadable for free. All right, let's talk about that supply list, shall we? Here's the Stampin' Up! products that you're gonna need to make this card. Uh, let me show you first the um, framelits that I used. I used the Layering Ovals framelits, and those are, um, I think, a three and a half inch yeah, it's a three and a half inch oval. It's not the biggest one and it's coordinating scallop. I've already cut those. I use the Dragonfly Thinlets dies and not the bigger detailed Dragonfly. I use the smaller one, but there's that set. Um, this little sprig is from the Everyday Jars Framelit collection. We'll also be using the Dragonfly Dreams stamps. Oh, so succulent. We're gonna use a little bloom from there. These little bits and pieces of florals have come in really handy for me and it is retiring and it is on sale. Some of the retirement list is on sale up to 50% off, but while supplies last. Um, we're going to use Endless Thanks for the thank you. I've loved this set. I did not get long enough with it. It's retiring. That's. Um, but it's one of my favorites. We will also be using the Jar of Love stamps. And the Petite Petals stamp set and Punch. These are on the retiring list. Punch is on sale. I don't think that the stamps are, but I love this set because Anytime you've got a card and it just needs a little something, a little embellishment, this is what I turn to because then I have perfect embellishments in any shade, any time, and they never run out. So I'm really sad to see this one go, but it's, it's retiring. We also are going to need some embellishments. I've got the metallic silver thread. This Sweet Sugar Plum Washi Tape is from the Playful Palette. That's on sale. It's retiring. Um, stitched Satin Vanilla Ribbon is retiring. Stamp pads for this project. Soft Sky, Soft Suede, and Zara Sand. Now you'll notice that there's a little pe little pearl in the center of, my, center of my flower embellishment. I forgot to do that on the last video. I'll try not to on this one, but notice it's there just in case I get away from myself again. Um, and I think that takes care of our supplies. Let's talk about our papers and measurements. Now these measurements are included in this supply sheet I talked about earlier, so don't scramble to write it down, it's okay. Um, I have a two and a half inch strip of the Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper. If you liked that glimmer paper that was available during celebration, pick this up, it's retiring. And two and a half inches is because I want to cut multiple dragonflies out of this. So I'm going to cut one for this card and then I'm going to keep on going because these are going to be um, one of the thank you cards I send out for my customers for their purchases last month. So if you cut it in a two and a half inch strip, you can alternate the dragonfly up and then flip them down and you can get a lot of little dragonflies out of the strip. So I'll show you when we cut them. Then we also have in here a soft sky card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. A very vanilla four by five and a quarter. 
I have just a scrap of Soft Sky. This is a scrap of Sarah Sand. We're going to cut these little sprigs out of that. I have a delicate white doily. Some pieces from Falling in Love Designer Series paper. It also retired, but unfortunately it's sold out. Um, go check out that retiring list before things are gone. The oval that's about three and a half inches is very vanilla and the scallop is sweet sugar plum. Now I'm going to bring in the big shot and we'll do a little bit of die cutting and some embossing. Okay so first the embossing we're going to need to set up our configuration this way. I've got a big shot platform no magnets. This is just the platform without a shim. I have the embossing folder here. This is the Texture Dynamics hexagon folder. And we're gonna lay our very vanilla panel into the folder. Now this folder is different from standard embossing folders. It's a dynamic folder, so we'll just lay the folder on the platform directly and add a cutting pad and crank that through. This is repetitive if you watched the last video, but I'm going to tell you anyways, if you live in a dry climate or if you've had dry weather, spritz your cardstock so it doesn't crack because look at the huge dimension that you get from these dynamic folders. Okay, now I'm going to change my um, configuration here for my big shot because we're going to do some die cutting. Okay, so I'm back with my um, big shot and now I have the magnetic platform and a cutting pad and this is the... Sahara sand and the sprig from the jars of love. Now remember how I told you that I did a two and a half inch strip of this blushing bride glimmer paper? This is why because now I can nest these little dragonflies and look at how little waste there will be. I can go down the whole entire strip and make myself a whole bag of little dragonfly embellishments. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and we'll be right back. Okay our big shotting is done. Is that a word, big shotting? Like a verb? I big shot, you big shot, we're big shotting. I don't know. Got the die brush here. This is retiring for a new configuration. I love this. Um, just brush gently so you don't bend the bristles and look at all those little bits are out and 90% of them are still on the mat and I can just go ahead and dump the mess right into the trash. Love that. Okay, I'm back now. I've got my stamp and pierce mat and my stamp and pads, and we'll do a little stamping. I'm gonna start with this um, petite petals. I've got the little polka dot pattern this time. Love that guy. Soft sky and soft sky cardstock. Just stamp. Look at how cute that is. Punch it out, use that to embellish anything. All right, the little bloom from the oh so succulent that's on sale. Makes a pretty little flower center. Let's set that aside for a minute and stamp our oval. I'll bring in some scratch paper here since we're stamping off the oval and get my sample in nice and close. I've got a great big sprig here. It's from the Jar of Love stamp set and Sahara Sand. And I'm going to place those so that they come off the top edge just a little bit. And then up from the bottom, leaving room for our sentiment and our dragonfly. Then I have my little thank you sentiment. And I'm going to put that not too low because we're going to have these couple of banner papers that come over the bottom. So snug it up to the sprig, but not too low on the oval. And then our little blooms. I talked about this in the last video, but just in case you didn't see it, the little blooms from the Jar of Love are on one stamp. They have a die that cuts them out in one pass, but separately, which is awesome. They also have, I don't know if you can see real well, this little V shape of extra polymer. And it has it in the same place on both stamps, which makes for easy placement. So I'm gonna ink up with my soft sky and stamp off. 
and then I'm going to come in and ink or stamp with it second generation and you'll see that that little V is pointed this way. So when I come in with the second set or the second step, I'm going to make sure that that V is pointing the same direction, ink it up, lay it on the flowers, and we get perfectly dimensional soft blue flowers. I'm going to do that a few more times. See how pretty? Okay, let's get some assembling done here. Okay, I have my textured piece here, the vanilla, very vanilla textured piece and fast fuse. And I'm going to run my fast fuse adhesive all the way around all four sides here. I like the fast fuse for these deep textured pieces. It grabs nice and tight. I'm going to center it on my soft sky card. Got my sweet sugar plum oval here and my stamped sentiment. We'll adhere those together with some snail. Using some fast views now will adhere the sweet sugar plum layer down to this beautiful textured layer. And about half inch down from the top works. Get some embellishment going on here. I've got that beautiful Falling in Love Designer Series paper and we're going to add that on with some snail adhesive. I want to pull off some of this sweet sugar plum washi tape. This is from the Playful palette and we'll add a bit of that. I just like the torn edge. Look at all those patterns and textures. It looks great. I'm going to bring my foam mat from the die brush back in. I've got the, the, the petite petals punched. Let's punch out our flower embellishment here. Okay, I've got this beautiful flower, but it's not yet an embellishment, is it? So let's put it on this spongy mat that comes with the um, die brush and using the scoring tool from the Simply Swords tool, we're just going to run it in circles on that flower. And look at that, now we've got it perfectly cupped. It's a pretty little embellishment, isn't it? To finish our embellishing, I've got the silver metallic thread here and I'm going to pull off an arm's length and snip and I'm going to take one of these delicate white doilies and cut it in half. Now it's in half I'm going to cut out the center And what I want here is just a couple of little ruffles. So I'm going to fold it on itself a couple of times and cut off the excess. I'm going to use this piece on another card. So there's my little bits of lace and I'm going to grab my glue dots and make them adhesive. So that's stuck to a glue dot. I'm going to stick my flower here to a glue dot. Now it's self-adhesive. And remember that little sprig we cut? We're going to trim off the end. We don't need a big long piece. And we're going to stick that one down to a glue dot. 
So all of our little embellishment pieces are adhesive. Let's tie our bow. Got some very vanilla and I'm going to wrap it over my index finger, around my thumb, tuck it in. There's my bow. Let's see that again. Wrap it over my index finger here in front over my thumb and then tuck it in. Now we want a petite bow so we'll pull the tails while we hold the knot. Need a, two more glue dots here. I like to put two glue dots on my bow to the right and to the left of the knot, kind of behind the loop almost. All right, now the twine that we cut off the roll. Let's take that twine. We're gonna wrap it around two fingers spaced a little bit apart. We want some kind of smallish loops. And then when we've got them, we can pick up our bow and just tack the loops to the glue dots. And then you're gonna spread the loops out a little bit so that they're not just round little, round little nest. You want some variation there. Okay, when you've got your loops kind of stuck to your bow the way you like them, you can use the flower to really help hold them down, but you're going to adhere to the card and then come in with that little piece of lace. Then our little flower embellishment. It's your last chance to rearrange those loops before you stick them down with the flower. And then our little sprigs. And we'll just tuck those in All right, now this time, I'm not gonna forget my little pearl. So I've got my little pearl here. I'm gonna pick it right up with the tips of the scissor. And now for our dragonfly. So we've got our beautiful glimmer paper cut out and we're going to Put our thumbnail against the body and fold up the wings. And then the back of the dragonfly will use a little multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere that down. All right, so the glue is just on the dragonfly's body and we'll tuck it in where we like it so we can still see our thank you sentiment and tack it all down. There they are. There's our beautiful thank you note cards. All right, if you've got any questions about this project, if you have any questions about the Stampin' Up! retirement list, if there's anything I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.